everyone, it's Siv. Welcome back to my channel, A Crafty Poodle Mom. I wanted to come on today to share with you a couple of card shares. So I have some friends at work that are expecting, and so I wanted to come on to share with you what I created using uh, some of my uh, Jaded Blossom dye. So I have a really big stash of Jaded Blossom dyes and stamps. Uh, ever since my sweet crafty friend Tina, hey Tina, from the Scrappin' Rabbit, um, she was their design team member and I would go gaga over her projects and card shares, so um, I wanted to use a couple of their products. So I used uh, the postage dies, I used the card mat dies, I used the baby dies really cute. I use a little um, onesie as well as the Oh Baby. And then I couldn't find a baby sentiment so I went ahead and just stamped wishing you everything happy on this special day from the peacock stamp that they carry. And I used foam sh my foam sheets as well as two Darice, um uh, embossing folders. I'm sorry for the glare. This one's a cloud um, embossing folder and this one is a, um, a mustache one. So what I did was I took a 110 pound cardstock. I cut it in half and um, I used uh, the dies, the card mat dies to kind of cut um a base and um as well as the postage in the middle i use the foam to create a little bit of a dimension and i love how the little old baby script pops up the little bow tie is also from the the old baby dies I love how it came out. You can see a little bit of the uh, shimmer from the polka dot paper and then um, a little bit of the uh, mustache embossed on the base paper. And then when you open it in the inside, uh, I have the card mat um, and then a postage a stamp, a postage die, and then the stamp wishing you everything happy on this special day. I, I loved how it turned out and I also did a, a little uh, baby girl one as well and I used the papers that I used are from um, I believe this one is I believe from the I believe it's Michael's uh, the baby girl me and my big ideas. It's a really old stack from 2011. Um, and I used a couple of uh, really cute papers in here. And then the other um, mat card, uh, let's see. I also used uh, the Little Miss stack from Die Cuts with the View. And um, I believed I used uh, the um, the greens on this one for the baby boy card. I did a little bit of blue and a little bit of green for that one. And then I also wanted to add that um, I used my Martha Stewart punch. This is a little um, elephant punch that I picked up at Michael's a long time ago. And so that is what I punched out using the paper pack uh, to use on the front of the little onesie and this little sparkle paper I got from Amazon. It's so cute, I love how it turned out. I also made a sentiment or a sympathy card as well. And um, I used an Alina die 
um, that I picked up on Amazon. And um, I believe I used this one. They have um, some flower dies on this particular one, the scallop um, die set. And I also used um, the slim card dies, the the big one for the card mat, as well as this, um, sorry for the glare, um, the heart, the heart um, slim line to create this card. I used an embossing folder and um, also paper from the die cuts with the view, as well as my um, blue shades um, from the Hot Buy uh, set. So what I did was I created this card and uh, this card measures so this card measures nine and five eighths wide by uh, four and a half tall and um, I basically uh, wanted to use um, some blues and silvers and um, this was a sentiment that um, a friend wanted uh, me to to put in on the card what was once enjoyed and deeply loved we can never lose for all that we love deeply becomes part of us by Helen Keller and um, on the inside sharing in your sorrow sending hugs to you sweet mama because no words will do so I really like how this embossing came out. It just adds a little bit of a special touch. Um, I use the papers, the, the little leaves, the gray leaves in that um, silver matte stack. And then I just used um, some of that um, mirror board. It's called a premium shimmer sheet that I got. It was on sale at... Um, I think scrapbooking made simple. So I loved how this came out. This was um, inspired by Wandy Sweets. She always makes these Anna Griffin cards and uh, I really like how she always uses her little flowers. So I added little pearls to these uh, flower centers and I like how it came out. It's just a little out elegant but it the sentiment is just right here it's just all about love sending some love to a friend that has lost a loved one all right so I hope um, you enjoyed my card shares and leave me a comment and let me know um, what you think of my cards thanks for watching everyone see you next time bye